Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are now working on the Security Plus practice exam. CompTIA Security Plus is a global certification that validates the baseline skills necessary to perform core security functions and pursue an IT security career. And in my video, guys, we will be working in the most important question in the exam. So let's get started. All right, guys, we're still working on the CompTIA Security uh, Plus pop quiz, SYO601. Um, let's get started with the first question. And we are, part, we are in part 11 now. Okay, uh, number one, which incident response concept is designed to represent a cybersecurity incident and is made up of four parts? Is it A, first, B, and for God, C, diamond model of intrusion, or D, all of these answers are correct? The correct answer is C, diamond model of intrusion. The diamond model is designed to represent a cybersecurity incident and is made of four parts. Active intrusion start with an adversary who will target a victim. The adversary will use various capabilities along some form of infrastructure to launch an attack against the victim. Capabilities can be various forms of tools, techniques, and procedures, while the infrastructure is uh, what connects the adversary and victim. The lines connecting each part of the model depict a mapping of how one point reach another. This mapping helps you understand the motives, intent, sophistication, capabilities, and resources that a threat actor may have. Number two, which of the following is an effective attack vector an attacker could modify or temper hardware or software from a vendor to perform mass compromise attacks? A. Supply chain B. Removable media C. Wireless or D. Direct access Correct answer is supply chain. One of the most effective attacks for mass compromise is to attack the supply chain of a vendor to temper with hardware and or software. This temporary might occur in-house or earlier while in transit through the manufacturing supply chain. 3. Which of the following elements code an attacker leverage to perform a cloud-based attack? A. Misconfigured virtual machines B. Unpatched applications and operating systems C. Misconfigured storage buckets or D. All of these answers are correct. Correct answer is D. All of these answers are correct. Attackers can leverage misconfigured and insecure cloud deployment, including unpatched applications, operating system, and storage buckets. 4. Which term refers to the knowledge about existing and emerging threat to a set, including networks and system? Is it A. Threat intelligence? B. Threat feed? C. Threat model? Or D. None of these answers are correct. Correct answer is A, threat intelligence. Threat intelligence refers to the knowledge about an existing or emerging threat to assets, including networks and systems. Number five, which technique is used when you leverage public information from DNS records, social media sites, websites, search engines, and other sources for reconnaissance? A, OSINT or OSINT. B, threat maps. C, threat model or D, threat analysis? The correct answer is OSINT or OSINT. Open source intelligence applies to offensive security, uh, ethical hacking, penetration testing, and defensive security. In offensive security, OSINT enables you to leverage public information from DNS record, social media sites, websites, search engines, and other sources for reconnaissance. In other words, to obtain information about a targeted individual or organization. When it comes to threat intelligence, OSINT refers to public and free sources of threat intelligence. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you have any comment, please leave it in the comment section below the video. And guys, don't forget, click on the subscribe button and also click on the bell for notifications so you will never miss any of my videos.